Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2024 video tutorial. It's a follow-up to the last Inventor video. It's a more advanced stent. Still kind of easy to do, but it takes a little bit more time. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, first I want to create a 3D spline. So let's go for a 3D sketch. And I want to use a spline with control vertices. And this might look some thing like, let's turn it a little bit, like this here. Okay, go for create. Let's see. It looks okay. Maybe, just maybe. it a little bit maybe like that and maybe like this here okay that should do and let's add one dimension so that's about 200 let's go for let's say 500 and Again, adjust it a little bit. Yeah, maybe like that. That's okay. And yeah, looks good. Finish that 3D sketch and maybe hide the dimension. Now I need a plane and I want to add a work point. So go for a point right here. Now let's add a plane normal to that curve in that point here. And I want to do a 2D sketch right on this plane. And I want to include that work point. This one here. Yeah, it's there. Now go for a polygon. You could use any number of sides, but please consider the more sides you use, the long it will take. So I want to go for six sides. Let's add one constraint like this and a construction circle in order to control the size. So dimension could be maybe 10. Let's go for yeah, 10 millimeter diameter. Finish that sketch. Yeah, looks okay. Now I want to add work points on every corner right there. Let's hide the plane. Go for a point right here. Repeat that command. Another one, another one, another one, another one, and the last one right there. So I got the six work points and I will need them for my projections for the sketches. So the first sweep, so go for a sweep. That profile should be swept. That's the path. And I want to rotate it at least, let's go for not 360 degrees, but maybe 720. Let's take a look, 720. Okay, let's go for, let's go for five times 360. Takes a while, of course. Yeah, that should be enough. And confirm, let's go for optimize for single selection and confirm. 
So that's the first one. Now the second one should be the other way around. So go for another sweep. Yeah, I know. So I have to use the sketch, make it visible, or go for reuse. Doesn't matter. Let's go for visible, and then we can use it again. So go for another sweep. Select the same 3D sketch as curve. This one, so it should be visible. Yeah, let's cancel this out, make it visible. And then we should be able to use it once again. So go for a sweep. Now select that curve here as path. That would be a steady sketch here, this one. But I want to go the other way and I need a new solid. So let's go for 5 degrees times 360, but minus. Let's add a minus there, so it goes the other way around. And it already takes a while, you see. It will take a long time to create this. Now, I could hide that 3D sketch. And I want to do it with separate 3D sketches. You could put six of those edges into one 3D sketch, or you could put every edge into one 3D sketch. And that makes it a little bit more... It makes it, it, makes it easier to, to work with. So. Let's go for a 3D sketch, maybe hide the first, first the second one, like this. Now go for a 3D sketch, first one. And I want to include geometry. I start with this edge here. And this should be not for construction, so it should be a solid line like this. Now you could put all of these edges into this sketch, but it's easier to do it in separate sketches. So let's finish this. Make a new 3D sketch. Go again for Include Geometry. Select the next one. Again, this should be not for construction. Finish this sketch. Add another 3D sketch. Again, go for increase geometry. Now select this one here. Not for construction. Finish this. Go for another 3D sketch. Now include this edge here. Again, it's not for construction. Confirm. Another 3D sketch. Another include geometry. Now that's this one here. Again, not for construction. And the last, at least for this solid, is now that edge here. And again, not for construction. And finish. And OK. Now let's hide solid one. Now we have to do the same for the solid 2 and I will stop the recording and proceed after I've done those for this solid. Let's hide those 3D sketches. So I've done the other 6 3D sketches. Let's make them all visible, so 3 like this here. And you see already the stand. Now, I want to show it to you for two of those curves. 
Then again, I will stop the recording and proceed after I've done all of them, because it takes a while. So maybe hide those at first. Now I need another sweep and therefore I will need a sketch. Let's hide that sketch here. So that should be sketch one. Okay. Now I need a plane normal to that curve in that endpoint here. Plane, select that curve, go to the start or endpoint, and then I want to do a 2D sketch on that plane here. So which one is which? So work point one, let's check it out. This one, that's, this one should go into my sketch. So let's go for project geometry, bring it in, and then put a circle right there. And I want to go for a diameter of one millimeter. Okay, finish that sketch. Now I want to do a sweep with that circle along that curve here. No rotation needed. And of course it's a new solid. This one you have to do for all those curves. So I will do it for another one. Let's take a look where's the other one which starts at the same point should be one of these maybe this one yeah looks good so bring in this one make it visible and maybe hide that one here which is already used which you can see it's already shared now this one here i will need a plane normal to this one let's hide that plane let's go for another plane on this curve at this point. Now a sketch right there. Again a circle. Again bring in that point here. So that point would be this one here. That one. So project it and put another circle right there again one millimeter finish that sketch and let's make another sweep with that sketch and this path and it should be a new body and confirm and now we have to do this for every curve so we will need 10 more planes and 10 more sweeps. I will stop this recording and start recording again if I've done, when I've done all those sweeps. Okay, now I've created all those sweeps, all in all 12. Now, if you want to combine them to one solid, that's possible, but it will, would really take a long time. I want to hide them and I will do another sweep. Let's hide this work point here. And I need my original plane, the first one, the first work plane, this one. And I need to do a sketch here. So go for a 2D sketch. Let's bring in work point one. That's this one here. I need a circle. And this should be 10 point 25. And a second circle with 9.75 millimeter diameter. And now I want to make another sweep and then I want to intersect this sweep with all the other ones. 
which will give me my final stand. So let's hide that work plane here. Bring back the first 3D sketch and let's do a sweep along that curve here. And it should be a new body. Let's see if it so I need that space in between and confirm. Hide that plane, hide that curve. So that's 0 0.5 millimeter thick and I want to intersect this solid with all the solids from this one up to that one. And this will really take a long time to calculate. So I will stop again the recording, but first I want to do at least one combine. And I want to go for intersection. And the base body would be this one here. And the tool bodies are those 12 sweeps. And let's select at least the first one and all the other ones. And this will really take a long time to calculate. So I'll, I will stop the recording right now and I'll be back if the calculations are finished. So this really took a long time to calculate. So please consider this if you want to do this exercise. Maybe do it only with a triangle as polygon and do it only with six sweeps all together and maybe use a shorter spline. But anyway, hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.